so much. It's uh, 602. We're going to breaking news here. We've got new details in a shooting that left a person in Baytown dead and more than a dozen others hurt. Yeah, this happened during a vigil last night. Brittany Jeffers is live in Baytown this morning with what we know. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning. Yes, truly a tragedy. We've learned from uh, Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez that the victim who died here at this hospital was a woman in her 20s. Now, the sheriff says that the crowd had gathered for a celebration of life for a vigil last night. Uh, and they say that just as the crowd had released balloons, that is when someone started firing into the crowd. So there was uh, quite a quite a large group out here, possibly about 50 individuals. All of a sudden, a vehicle that was traveling in the roadway behind me, heading towards Thompson, uh, drove by the location and began opening fire into the crowd, uh, striking uh, numerous individuals. Um, and the vehicle fled from the location. We don't know uh, any information at this time on any uh, suspects or anything like that. Now, the sheriff providing an update on Twitter earlier this morning, saying in all 14 people were injured in the shooting. The sheriff's office has identified one person, a woman in her 20s, Daisha Allen, as a victim who died tragically at the hospital. Now, they said that others are said to have non-life-threatening injuries, while three others were taken by life flight. And they still do not have an age range on these victims, but the sheriff told us last night that possibly a young child sustained a wound. Now, Harris County Sheriff's Office is also investigating this. Uh, this is near the 6700 block of Juarez Street, where investigators say they found an abandoned vehicle set on fire. Now, investigators on the scene say this vehicle description matches the make and model of the suspected gunman's vehicle, which was a dark colored sedan. It was found about two miles away from the scene. So at this point, investigators do not have a motive for the shooting. They are all still actively looking for that gunman as well. They say if you have any information, contact the sheriff's office or Crime Stoppers. Live in Baytown this morning, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.